I offer you a quote from the book Meditations by Marcus Aurelius in regards to winning at your life just in case you are one who doesn't believe they're winning but know that you should. Remember how long you've been putting this off. How many extensions the gods gave you and you didn't use them. At some point, you have to recognize what world it is you belong to, what power rules it, and from what source you spring. That there is a limit to the time assigned you, and if you don't use it to free yourself, it'll be gone and never return. So here are five signs you are winning at life. Sign one, zero fucks given. As conformity and the acceptance of mediocrity persists around us, imagine life as an incessant cesspool of zombies, vampires, and leeches, aimless flesh consumed with feeding and obsessing on the thoughts, assumptions, attitudes, values, ideals, and emotions of others, conducting investigations into other souls, rumoring, judging, and devaluing in order to somehow perch up and ultimately ignore themselves. Sounds dope, doesn't it? And because most people feel the need to critique you, the winner, are oblivious to this. You, of course, show intuitive sympathy and tolerance to friends, amateurs, and what equates to sloppy thinkers, for they literally know no better. Because as a zero fucks given winner, you know and consciously don't allow the thoughts of others to infiltrate, manipulate, and sway the belief and value of self. For you are not to be fucked with by anyone else. Sign two. You see failure as growth. It is said that wisdom is the absolute greatest asset for success and winning. The single, the single greatest way to accrue wisdom is to learn. The fastest way to learn is to gain experience. The way towards experience is to move forward towards your life aim. Whatever you choose to aim at. Gotta have a goal. Inevitably, you will fall, fail, and lose along the way. But winners fully embrace this component as necessary. Learning through experience what not to do, winners deem priceless. Learning not to be defined by failures ensures you will never stop moving forward and through. Failure is a growth process. Sign three. Live sober. And I'm in my 40s and I'm an 80s baby. And I remember those commercials. This is your brain. They show you an egg. Then they show you a frying pan. They crack the egg. Put it into the frying pan. Let it sizzle. Cook it up for effect. And then they say, this is your brain on drugs. Any questions? <laughs> now listen, I doubt you came here for a science lesson. But let's touch specifically on the socially accepted drugs. Again, being from the crack cocaine era, we'll ignore those obvious ones. Alcohol, and I'm speaking as a former alcoholic. Marijuana, I'm speaking as a former weed enthusiast. And quite often, as in almost always, I would do both at the same time. Winners realize that these stimulants are masking and crutching your anxieties, insecurities, and all other emotional self-doubt mechanisms. It is a temporary release from your truth that you're not winning. And these socially accept accepted stimulants literally kills your brain cells when consumed. Again, not a neuroscience, but it's probably good to know that. Your brain is connected to your entire body. And those brain cells you kill, they don't come back once dead. And being brain dead is just not a healthy recommendation. Winner, what is worse and what I used to help me stop was when I learned this nugget. When you get 
high. You're basically removing oxygen from the brain. It is the dying of the brain that essentially produces what we would term the high. Winners learn not to force dying of the brain and crutch temporary emotional altering substances. Live sober and with oxygen. St- uh, sign four, impulse control. Let me put the fingers up. We're on four. This, this is what will be aligned with the experience termed instant gratification, which we use as a trendy cliche niche. But it's really important to highlight that the fundamental things that needs or that humans need to survive are designed to provide pleasure like food, drink, sex, sleep, and social interaction. All those feel good. Thereby, winners require impulse control to avoid hitting snooze, checking your phone incessantly, immediately responding to texts, overeating, procrastinating, gaming, binge watching, giving into the temptation of the flesh. Winners don't do that, at least not as, an, as a habit and nowhere near consistently. Of course, you can indulge every now and again. Sign five. This seems obvious, but you take care of your appearance. How you present yourself to the world should matter to you because how you present and take care of yourself physically has massive implications about how you feel about yourself and ultimately how you play this game of life. You know, working out, showering and grooming regularly, making your bed and ensuring your environment is well kept and not in shambles, not going outside in a sweatsuit every day, and hopefully not the same one, and hopefully it's clean, eating predominantly healthy. All of these things are to ensure you maintain a healthy temple. It's literally your vehicle for life. And as the cliche goes, you wouldn't fill your sports car up with cheap gasoline. So winners prioritize fueling their body properly and looking good. Damn, I look good. Because then you're feeling good and now you're playing good at all times. Stay winning. Those are the signs. And I can sum it up. That's five of them. This way, before I close with another quote from Marcus Aurelius, quite apropos and I think powerful. It's my belief, cliche Jeff, that winners simply have learned to prioritize love for themselves, all of themselves, and what they might be. For all that they are, as well for all as they may not be, ultimately helps to unlock all the signs available for winners at life, which amounts to the, amounts to the foundations of gratitude, compassion, and self-dominance. Now let's let Marcus bring us home. This is your one life. And even if you're going to live 3,000 more years Or 10 times that. Remember, you cannot lose another life than the one you are living now. Or live another one than the one you are losing. Change your mind, change your life. I am who I say I am. Stay rich.